And let's hear from her. Courtside, Joel Krabas will be asking the questions. Coco, congratulations. It's never easy playing a fellow American, and you know what dangerous opponent she can be. How crucial was you to get through that first set in particular? Yeah, it was uh, really hard. Um, I started off playing well, and then I think that service game, I didn't mix up my service. She was hitting a lot of big forehands. I played her before, and it was a tough match. And uh, she does well with hitting the ball heavy, so sometimes it's hard to, it's hard to be on offensive. Sorry, this echo is, like, so trippy. What the hell? It's tough. <laughs> it's all right. It's tough. Um, and also, you mentioned to me after the first round, you were dealing with some nerves. Now getting through these first couple rounds, have those sir nerves settled a little bit for you? Yeah, I wasn't nervous today. Um, I think that I was just trying to play good tennis. And, you know, if you give her something short, she's going to punish you for it. So I think if I could go back, I would try to play deeper and more uh, heavy like I did in the second. And you also mentioned you look good, you feel good. How are you feeling after this win going into the third round once again? I mean, I think I still look good, so I feel good. <laughs> yeah, uh, shout out to New Balance for the kit. And I'm going to do a little self-promo. You can buy this at the New Balance store by Raw Labor. <laughs> Excellent. You heard it here from Coco, ladies and gentlemen. Coco Golf. Wide World of Sports is your home of the Australian Open. With highlights of every match of the AO, the on-court interviews, and every day with the morning serve, you'll be ahead of the game. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing this Australian Open.